He is the 2016 United States Olympian, Carlos Valderas. My name is Carlos Valderas. I'm an Olympic boxer. I'm an undefeated boxer right now. 6 0 with 5 knockouts. I'm from Santa Maria, me and my brother. Um, me and my brother, we got into boxing at first porque we were fighting a lot, we were getting into trouble a lot in school. Um, and they took us more to the gym for, uh, you know, to get disciplined. And we ended up falling in love with the sport and we never knew it would take it out so far, you know, but we stuck to it and we kept continue doing what we had to do and we're, now we're here. Uh, my boxer is more of a, I'm a counter, I'm a clean, clean counter boxer. I'm not no brawler. I feel like I'm a pure boxer. I'm a counter puncher, but I believe I can adjust to a fight. I, I, I can brawl if I need to. I can be there, I can be putting pressure if I need to, but my, my biggest asset in the ring is my speed um, and my explosive power, and I, I can move my feet, you know, I'm not no flat-footed boxer. We come from very, very humble beginnings, everybody knows that, and so that's why I try to carry myself as humble as possible. My family um, started working their way up, and they did pretty much everything they needed to do so that me and my brother can live our dream. They put their life on hold and I feel like they put everything they wanted to do to the side so that me and my brother can, can be here like fulfilling our dream, doing what we're doing right now. I remember my dad sold his car, my grandpa pawned his watch. Um, we did a lot of barbecues. My sisters like would sell chocolate bars, you know, like outside of the post office and they would kick us out. Like, so my family did pretty much everything so that me and my brother could be here. So now it's pretty much up to us. It's our obligation to, to fulfill our dream and to keep moving forward, I feel like. My name is uh, Zinem Valderas. I'm Carlos and Jose Valderas' father, also his trainer. He has a uh, tremendous uh, footwork and uh, tremendous uh, speed and power. He's also very explosive. He can brawl, he can box, he can punch, he can do anything. Since he was about 8, 19 years old, I used, I used to tell him, you know what, you're going to be an Olympian, you're going to be an Olympian. And when he became an Olympian, I couldn't believe it. I was, just, I was in shock. I was like, it was, like, it was incredible. The road to the Olympics was, was something, it was, it was something uh, unbelievable, unforgettable. Being out there and just to be able to experience it with, with my grandpa alone and my, my, all my family who went with me, it was a dream come true because ever since I was seven years old, eight years old, when I first had started boxing, I remember my dad and my uncle would always tell me, tu vas a ser nuestro olimpico, like you're gonna be our Olympian and, and we ended up making it happen. So yeah, it was, it was something that, it was like a beautiful experience, you know, something that I, I could never forget. We went from the strawberry field straight to the Olympics, you know, and we're going straight for a world title. <laughs> I believe I made the transition from an amateur to a pro really, really good because ever since we were a kid, my uncle, my coach, David Valderas, and my dad had always told me speed is what matters, speed kills. So we've always emphasized a lot on speed and power, explosiveness. My style has never really been no pity pat stuff. Me and my brother have always been taught to sit on our punch as well. Um, good, good fundamentals and like I said, focused a little bit more on our power, less, a little bit less on the speed and points because that, that's really not going to do nothing in the pros. <laughs> I'm gonna continue training hard as we always do. I'm gonna continue staying focused. I don't really worry about it, really what my opponent is gonna bring because I know what I'm gonna do in the ring. I know I'm easily, I can easily adjust to any style. But I feel good, I feel strong, I'm calm, I'm relaxed, and I'm ready to go in there and do my job again as I do always.